Hey guys, so sorry for the weird lighting, I'm in the kitchen again, but I had a few of you guys ask me to show you guys what came in my lab kit for my anatomy and physiology class for nursing school, and this is the kit. It came from eScience Labs, let me just cover up my address here, so eScience Labs. And I'm just going to show you guys what um, is in this box because basically you could either take this class on campus and go into the lab or you get sent all of your lab items. So this is on top. This is for dissections. This is a dissection tray. Um, then we have step-by-step -step guides and this shows like what's in like basic items that might be in your kit. Now my school, the college that I go to, basically um, customized it to meet exactly what we will need throughout the class. So this is actually what is in it for my college for this specific course. Now this, the college that I go to, we have two anatomy and physiology classes that we need to go to um, and take, and that's a shadow on the wall, by the way. It's not anything weird on the lens. But um, we have two levels of anatomy and physiology that we need to take, one and two. And this is for anatomy and physiology one. So I'm just gonna, um, I'm not gonna read off this list. I mean, I could, but I'm just gonna show you everything that comes in it because I feel like that would be easier than just reading it off and probably more interesting. And I'm sorry if I'm a little weird today. I just got back from Julian's house and I've been drinking tequila, so maybe not the best time to film this video, but we will get through it. Um, so this, this bag, it's labeled Intro to Science. It includes five by eight bags and pinto beans. So I don't know how well you can see that. Again, sorry for the weird lighting in the kitchen. And then we have this, which is a nice little zipper pouch here. And this is your dissection tools. And I'm already throwing things. Let me put this back in here. Because I believe we are dissecting two things in this level of the course. And I believe it is a sheep's brain and a cow eye or something like that. Um, they sent these, or this, there's only one, Medline mask, but I can get masks from work and um, I also have masks from dialysis supply crap. Um, so then we have this little packet which is labeled tissue and skin and it says it includes graph paper, betadine swabs have been replaced with providone iodine swabs and then paper clips. A nice little roll of masking tape. And for the nervous system, these are the things that we are um, dissecting. So I believe it'll be okay. Please read. Store at room temperature, out of direct sunlight, keep out of reach of children and pets. So that's what they look like. Um, and if you guys are interested, I can show you guys, like, when I actually do the dissection, I can try to film it or something. If you guys are weirdos like me and would like to watch that, um, I can definitely try. We haven't reached that level in the course yet, but there's the eye and here's the brain. There is a nice fine um, marker fine tip marker from Staples. See? Staples. And 
This is the safety kit. Now, I'm gonna see what all is in here because I don't know exactly what's in here. So these are gonna be industrial safety glasses with anti-scratch coating. And then of course, there is a crap ton of gloves, which I also don't need because I can get them from work or from dialysis supplies. And then this looks like a bunch of like draping for the experiments and stuff. And it looks like a disposable like lab apron type thingy, but you can see there's a shiny side and then there's a soft side. So again, that's the safety kit for the experiments. We do have, I think, three or four more experiments to go throughout the rest of the class. We did one this week, but it was like mostly an online experiment. It was with, it was about gram staining bacteria and like we were supposed to figure out if this yogurt was contaminated or not but it was like an online lab simulation type thing so it wasn't like an actual experiment that we did on our own a ruler and then there's this box in here this might be the skeleton because we're supposed to be getting sent a skeleton which I think is really cool let me close this box real quick um, I'm gonna be making like a, a video every week of the semester to tell you guys like give you guys an update on my progress throughout the class and things like that um, let me see what this says Yes, so this is the skeleton, but I need to get a knife to cut through it, to open it, because it's in this packing styrofoam crap, and I don't, okay, so this is pretty funny actually, look how it's packaged, I don't want him to fall out of there, but um, his legs are like by his head. That's just funny the way that they put it in there. And then it actually has a base on this side so that you can set it up and everything. But I think that's really cool. So I might use this as practice when we get to like the skeletal system and things like that because I feel like it'll be super helpful. But I still haven't set up like the area where I'm gonna be doing these experiments at. I'm probably just gonna use the kitchen table to be honest um, because we don't really eat on the kitchen table anyway, so, um, oh, and this came with the skeleton. It labels, like, the bones and where they go, in case you can't see that. So, that's it for this, um, video. I just wanted to show you guys what is all in my lab kit because I know, like I said, some of you guys were super interested to see, like, what comes in the, um, the lab kit and like what we need to what we need to do for our class so I figured I would share some more information about that and if you guys have any questions or if you want to keep seeing these videos about my classes and how they're going let me know and I'd be glad to keep filming them for you I'm really excited to be back in school and so far I'm doing good we're only through two weeks of classes but so far I'm optimistic, I'm positive, and things are going well, so I'm hoping to stay on track with everything. And that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, like I said, at-home lab kit. That is all we were showing today. So let me know if there's any questions you have, any topics you'd like me to talk about, and I will talk to you guys again in my next video.